What up guys? So today, by popular demand, I'm going to be doing my helmet. So I'm going to run over a couple things, what it's got, um, how much it was when I bought it, and the pros and cons. So, yeah. Y'all ready? All right, so to start off, it's a Bluetooth helmet. So it's got speakers wired in and everything. It's got a guard right here. So for the wind or whatever, uh, it's also got a microphone. And then I have a separate microphone. I know, it looks like a Chewbacca testicle, but that's all right. Um, it's also got this guard right here from the front. So that creates, or makes sure that you, know, that you don't get any like fog or whatever up on your visor. It's got three different vents one chin mount and then two up at the top I don't really find a use for them because it's DOT so it's not the best uh, protection since this is a uh, helmet that can do this basically they took out they basically took out stuff right here on the top of the forehead which is basically where most accidents happen um, they took that out so they could fit in a slide down visor I don't use it too much uh, it's really nice though if you're like, you know, coming home around 6 o'clock and the sun's just beaming down in your eyes and it's better to have that than sunglasses. Um, this is my vlogging setup, so that's got the microphone running down, stuff it all back there and then put the microphone down into the chin. This is uh, actually something you guys got to know about this helmet. You can't really do too many spots for, uh, what's it called, like a vlogging setup. Uh, the chin mount is very pointy. I, I don't know. It, I couldn't really do it. Uh, I didn't try putting double-sided tape right here. I probably could try that, and then I could do a chin mount. But I do like the top. Uh, this is the smoothest surface. Actually, that looking at it, it's crooked, believe it or not. So if you ever notice, my vlogs are kind of tilted. That's probably why. Sticker, that's from the Utah Rider Safety Course. Pads, they're all removable. You can remove all of them and wash them if you need to. Um, actually, here's a trick that I do. Well, it's in here somewhere. Uh, you know those little Christmas tree things? Yeah, I stuff it on the top of the uh, padding. That way, whenever I put my helmet on, it smells freaking good. I've had had cases where this, there's an open, and then there's a close. So if it's pointing to the close, obviously, this is not gonna move. If that is open, that whole thing can slide, right? Somehow it, it clicked uh, into open and it actually twisted. So when I was riding, I went to go flip up my visor. This whole visor just, it, one side is still hooked, thank goodness, but I lost this circle piece. So at the time when I bought this, I believe this helmet was around 189. I actually like this helmet. It fits really comfortably. Uh, there's no hard spots for me or hot spots on my head. The the cheek pads were like super tight when I first had it. And then obviously within some time it broke in and it was good. Breaking time was good. There's really no complaints I had about that. You can actually connect this Bluetooth up to other, not other Bluetooth, I'm not, I haven't tried other Bluetooth systems, but I have tried the same helmet that my friend bought and we can connect that and talk. So talking, it's very good. When you're on the highway, it is a little hard to hear, and I feel like there's a lot of wind noise with this helmet. I don't know why, but I notice when I can wear like a sleeve, kind of like a neck roll that I keep, especially in the winter when it gets really cold, and I keep from my neck from like freezing up. And I notice when I wear that, it blocks a lot of the under part of the helmet. It just makes it, everything so much quieter. Uh, I used to ride with uh, earplugs like all the time because it was just, it was so bad and not to mention the exhaust on the bike is freaking loud. So there's gonna just be two speakers, one on the left, one on the right, and I'm, I think it's just one of the like, circle ones that they just uh, stick to the left and right side. And it's comfortable, it's not like it's sticking out or anything, and you can't even feel it that it's in like, it's in the helmet, so that's also pretty good. I'm gonna do a sound test for you guys and show you how loud this thing can actually get. And believe it or not, I almost have it on high all the time when I'm riding because of the wind noise is so bad. 
but whenever I'm in slower traffic, you know, stop and go, I normally put it halfway and it's plenty and I can hear and I can talk. And I've actually had a lot of people that are calling me on this, you know, Bluetooth. And then I ask them, I always ask them, hey, did you know that I'm riding a motorcycle right now? And they're like, what? Oh, that's so cool. How are you doing that? And anyway, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So the other people don't notice that you're actually riding and they can't hear the wind noise. I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys how the Bluetooth is uh, set up and how it works. Um, so to charge it, so this this cable right here, that that's that does not come with a helmet, but this one does, and this actually stays right back in here, and it just tucks in, doesn't bother you, doesn't fling out or anything. Um, over time, I don't know if you guys can see, but the cords are kind of popping out, uh, but it still connects, it's fine. And what's nice, and I'm pretty sure they did this on purpose, but that connection is the same one as a GoPro. So it's super nice to have because I just need one cord and I can charge everything and I always keep a little battery with me in my tank bag. So that's how you charge it. Um, I always do it overnight so I don't know exactly how long it takes but I've like, you know, right before a ride I'm like, oh crap, I need to charge it. It's completely dead. I'll charge it for like 30 minutes and it's like fine for the whole ride that I'm with whoever, right? So you got two different options. You have, or three I guess. You have the twist forward, twist back, and it locks right there. It stops, and it stops that way. You have an accept or end call right there for that button. This is a light, so it lets you know if it's low on battery, if it's charging, and if you're connected with something. And then this is the Bluetooth button. So basically what you do is you just hold down that button until it beeps. So there it goes. There's the beep. It's going to blink every now and then. Okay. okay, so this is kind of what I use as an iPod. It's a super old uh, iPhone 4. Hook this up, and it's the W0. So I'll go ahead and connect that one. So now it's connected. And then once you once you connect it from your helmet to your uh, phone, all you normally do is just click that, and it's, it's super easy. I, I'm actually pretty surprised at how easy it is. What do y'all want? Y'all want some queen? You guys want, let's see right here, MOP. Meek Millie, Montana, 300, na, 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 na. Everybody likes T-Pain, right? I went to his concert, it was freaking amazing. Okay, so that but that sound that you just heard, that, dun, dun, that, that lets you know that it's maxed out on the highest volume setting. Oh yeah, the freaking beginning is quiet. It's about two feet away. And this is on your head. You gotta think about that. I mean, you're not blasting this. You're not hooking this up to the back of your bike and playing it on loud and letting everyone hear what music you're rocking. So. So I can still hear it from way over here. So that's, this is on the highest setting. I got the volume completely up. So it's it's I think it's pretty good. I think it's really loud. I wonder if I can uh sound quality is pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. But if you can kind of hear it, the bass it's starting to it's starting to clear out and it's kind of sucks now. So I never really put it on blast now unless I'm talking with someone. If I'm talking with someone then you can have it on loud and the and the bass isn't all messed up. What is it called? Blown out. Blown out speakers. I don't really have blow it's got blown out speakers but if it's like on like the super max setting and the bass is like crazy bad. But that that didn't happen when I uh, first had the helmet. And I've ridden this in the rain, snow, sleet, hail, you name it. So it's it's definitely waterproof. Go ahead and hold that button off, and you'll see the button, it'll blink twice. There it goes. That battery lasts forever. Oh my gosh, does it last forever. I only have to charge it like once every few weeks. That's how long the battery lasts. I don't even know where they store the battery. TBH. So, so yeah, I mean, the music plays really loud. It's, it's really good. Uh, everything's clear. Lately, and this has only been... 
probably three weeks recently and i've had this for two two and a half years the speaker is finally kind of blowing out and that's just the bass everything else is fine so if you listen to music that doesn't have any bass uh i'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine for a long time and then i bought a smoked visor that smoked visor that i had for it scratched like crazy so from now on i definitely go with a clear visor um overall i just really like this helmet i have like Nothing to complain about except for the fact that it's not a Snell approved helmet. It's only built, or it's a, only DOT. If you kind of think about it, you see those brain bucket helmets, right? Those are DOT approved. And if you compare that DOT approved to this DOT approved, I'm not sure if that, you know, that stands for a certain rating. Like, So I don't know if that's just a higher standard of DOT, but it's DOT. The wind noise and probably the safety, those are the two. I mean, it is safe. But it's not the highest, you know, safety rating. So, and uh, if I did forget anything or if you have a question about this helmet, just comment below and I'm more than willing to help and, you know, or, you know, answer any questions that you got about it. So if you are interested in buying a helmet, I highly recommend you go into a store, into a dealership, find that exact helmet. But if you're like first time buyer or you want to get a do uh, you you want to you know buy a new helmet then definitely go in and see what your options are and either buy it there or just copy the same or whatever and then buy it online. I guess there's another thing I can mention uh, is the strap. The very end of this had a little button, so you would loop it through the you know the chin mount, and then it would clip onto that that little red one. And it's actually still there. You can see it's split. Uh, you can see that there's like kind of two layers of that red button. Uh, that's because that one just stuck on there and it came off of that. So while I'm riding, it's all tight right here. But then this thing just like flaps around like a loose... Um, anyways, I, I really like this helmet. I just wish it was Snell approved and I wish that the wind noise wasn't so bad. Yeah, so that's, that's my little review for you.